Hello, Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome. There is yet another Evocati PTU build. This one, as you can guess, is Alpha 314E. Let us check out what is new. As always, huge thank you to all of my patrons and channel members. Thank you guys so much for the support. And if you do enjoy my content, please consider hitting that subscribe button and helping the channel to grow. So with this new build, they appear to have removed the limited ship testing list, but the testing focus does remain the same. For feature updates and locations, they have done yet another performance optimization and polish pass on Orison's LODs, its assets and lighting, so continuing to make that location as smooth as possible. In gameplay, they have performed a polish pass on the scan UI and the combat and missile operator mode. They have also done further core tuning for all the ships. They've updated the fire rate of size 3 ballistic Gatling guns, slowed down all the cannon projectile speeds, reduced sizes 1 to 3 mass driver damage, adjusted laser projectile lifetimes, fixed missing gameplay and stick entry bindings for missile operator mode, moved flight ready away from default binding on the gamepad, they've corrected fire mode switch keybind for FPS weapons, and ship turrets to B instead of shift plus R, which is due to the changes caused by the radar and scanning system, and they've updated the landing dust size for larger ships. So there's quite a lot of changes there. They are clearly still focused on pushing more balance and tuning, which I am very happy to see. I will say, do expect the need to spend time adjusting and binding your controls in 314. With missile operator mode and the new scanning updates, Many of the bindings will need redoing, as it looks like they are shifting things around. So do expect that when you get to 314. Don't be expecting a simple plug and play. Now moving on to bug fixes. There are 24 bug fixes this time. Again, I will only read out a few of the more important ones, and the ones that are not specific to 314. Uh, they've fixed an issue causing players to not persistently spawn back inside their ship, making them have to claim it if their client crashes within an armistice zone. They've fixed an issue causing players to get a 30,018 error code when loading into the PU, which is good. That's a 30k error right there being resolved. Player emotes should now correctly play through the slash command and the inner thought wheel. They've fixed player control turrets not slewing on the server unless the gimbal mode in the turret is switched. Ramming another ship while in the borders of your own landing pad should no longer impound your ship which is continuing to help alleviate the pad ramming issues and getting a bit more fine-tuning to that as well. The Apoa Nox should no longer spawn on its side. Miles Eckhart should now function correctly and update the mission. Thank God for that one. Players should now be able to place carryables within the 600 eyes cargo base storage elevator or pick them up if dropped. Players should no longer fall through the game world when standing between the doors of Grimhex's cargo elevators. They've fixed an issue causing some parts of Hurston to suffer from multiple environmental visual effects problems, such as terrain flickering, black cubes popping in and out, and seams in the terrain. Very happy to hear that because Hurston does have a lot of visual effects problems with its terrain, so any fixes there will just help alleviate those issues. Cityscape geometry should no longer be seen clipping into various hangars in Area 18. The Vanguard Warden's bathroom should now have oxygen, and so should the pizza shops in various R&Rs. Plus, there has been four client crashes fixed and a server deadlock fixed. So that is this patch for the Evocati. There are some great bug fixes there, which I am really happy to see, as well as a lot more tuning and balancing, which is definitely a good thing. Uh, it is also a great sign seeing consecutive patches releasing more frequently, as it means things are starting to move and the builds can come out a bit quicker, which in turn means quicker releases through the waves when they start pushing through them. But with that said, be sure to follow me over on twitch.tv forward slash Ryan if you want to hang out and talk further about Star Citizen. Do subscribe if you enjoy my content and hit that like button if you don't mind, it really helps the channel out. Also, if you want to be notified when my videos go live, tick that little notification bell. Again, thank you to my patrons and channel members for all their support. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.